Hey everyone out there at Facebook. Uh, this is uh, COVID-1900. Uh, we are here in my backyard uh, this afternoon. I just wanted to say hello to you and, and uh, give you a moment of encouragement. Uh, in the next few minutes, people should be uh, gathering together uh, to, to get together and uh, just for, for a, a brief time, uh, pray. Uh, this morning, we were very fortunate. We had our first, our first live streaming um, worship service at Davis Park. It was exciting to, to go live and uh, touch so many people. We had, uh, we're, we're guessing in the neighborhood of 150 to 200 people uh, watching us this morning, probably similar in, in, uh, in, in the amount of people that we would have had if we had been at, uh, at our regular services. What a what a trying time it has become here uh, in in Modesto and California and these United States. As we as we are trying to get our wrap our heads around COVID nineteen. Today we had another person that was diagnosed as having uh, the COVID nineteen uh, virus here in Modesto. Uh, we've now had six total cases identified. Also, as we look around and, and gain perspective on this, uh, literally thousands of people have passed away in Italy. Uh, and as we as we think about this our, in our prayer tonight, after we read some scripture, we're going to try to include the people of the world uh, that have been hurt by this. It's not only a disease that's going to hurt people, it's also going to be economics. And we want to remember in our prayer, the economics of the situation, the people that are not at work, the businesses that are losing money, all the different aspects of the economy, the stock market that has literally turned upside down. Uh, people's retirements uh, have literally, uh, some of them have lost thousands upon thousands of dollars of their retirement accounts. I suggest that we have to pray for them. Um, being uh, 64 myself and nearing that retirement age, I can't even imagine what's going on in my, uh, in my 401k. But uh, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look for a while. I'm going to let it ride and, and uh, have faith that God will take care of us. So what what uh, is uh, is it that is causing you trouble? What is it that is uh, taking uh, advantage of your heart right now? What is pushing God out and putting anxiety in? See, that's the question. What what's replacing God in your life right now? And as we as we think about this, as we ponder these questions. What we have to do is know that we serve a true and loving God. As we are serving God, we are all about, all about his love, his faith, his worthiness, uh, his power, his magnificence, his glory. I mean, even sitting in my backyard tonight, uh, I look around and the sky is beautiful. Uh, there's a little bit of chill in the air uh, as it's probably uh, somewhere around 60 degrees right now. Beautiful weather in these perilous times. Right now, hey, it's, uh, se it is 7 o'clock now. If you're joining us for COVID-1900, uh, uh, I thank you for, for coming to be with us tonight and sharing this time of prayer. Again, what I want us to do tonight is is pray about those that have been affected by this, not only physically, but economically. And what I'm going to do in just a few minutes is, uh, is read uh, Psalm 42. So if you have your Bible handy, uh, get out your Bible, and in Psalm 42, we'll, we'll actually look at that, then we'll make some comments on it. Psalm 42. It says, as the deer pants for the water brooks, 
so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, the for for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember, and I pour out my soul within me. For I used to go along the throng and lead them in procession to the house of God with the voice and joy of thanksgiving, a multitude-keeping festival. Why are you in despair, O my soul, and why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him. For the help of his presence, O oh my God, my soul is in despair within me. Therefore, I remember you from the land of the Jordan and the peaks of Hermon from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls and all your breakers and your waves have rolled over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and his song will be within me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As a shattering of my bones, my adversaries revile me. And when they say to me all day long, where is your God? Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him the help of my countenance and my God. The psalmist in, in Psalm 42 uh, is concerned and he feels like God may have left him. He feels abandoned. His soul is in jeopardy because at that moment he wonders uh, what God is going to do. But he, he vacillates there as he is listening to God. He vacillates because in one moment, he feels uh, strong and close to God, but then in other moments, he feels abandoned and left out by God. And that, friends, is life. That is how life comes to us. There are moments when we have our relationship in order. There are times when, when we are saddened by the events of the world and we wonder what God is up to. What I want to tell you tonight is there's hope for all of us. Think about it a minute. There is hope for all of us. You see, this God who is bigger than all of us is in control. This God who is bigger than all of us has made a way out of sin. This God who is in control of all of us is watching down right now and protecting you. As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire. So that's that psalm, and it's exciting because what it tells us is in these times of stress and distress, we actually have the ability to talk to God and dialogue with God, and he will lead us uh, from the path of sadness and anxiety to the path of joy. Again, be with us tomorrow night. Uh, as again, tomorrow night we will do COVID 1900, 7 p.m. every day. And also, uh, if you will, uh, like us over uh, if you're on our YouTube page. Uh, we will also uh, be giving out updates throughout the week as we find out more and have more information. Again, we love you and we thank you for watching tonight. Each of you take care. May the blessings of God be upon you.